Hey everyone, welcome to installing and configuring PowerCenter. Previously, we learned how to download and extract the Informatica PowerCenter software. Now, we'll learn to install the software on our machine. We'll learn the following in this section. Installing server for services and configuration. Installing the client, graphical interface of Informatica. We learned to successfully extract the files from the downloaded software. We'll now start with the installation of the server. It's always recommended to install the software first then the client. To locate the installable file, browse the folder as you can see in the video. Double-click the executable file name. Install to kickstart the installation process. From there, you'll see the installation progress. The next pop-up on your screen will allow you to set up the server. On this pop-up you could see, select Install Informatica Power Center 9.6. If you already have a previous version of Informatica running on your machine, you could select the Upgrade option. Select the appropriate option and click Next. Next pop-up will show you the basic configuration and minimum system requirements for the Informatica installation. Check the details and click on Next. In the next screen, it'll ask you to select the license key. Click on the Browse option as you can see in the video. This will allow you to browse the license key. The license key can be located in path C colon slash infa 9.6. The license key name is oracle underscore all underscore os underscore prod dot key. Select the key and select the directory you wish Informatica to be installed and click on next. Next screen will show you the settings with which Informatica will be installed on your machine. Cross check the details and click on install. Please wait for the installation progress to be 100%. Once the installation is complete, you'll see the screen where you'll need to configure the domain and node. We'll discuss domain and notes in later videos. On the screen, just click Next. There's no need to change anything since we're doing a fresh installation. Once you create a domain and node, you need to configure database with Informatica. Database configuration is needed to allocate space to Informatica, since Informatica has no storage capacity. Configuring database with Informatica allows Informatica to use the space in database for storing metadata. We'll discuss that in more details in later videos. Specify the database credentials in database user ID and password. You can create a new database user to use existing database user with complete admin rights on database. We'll be using system user in this case. Make sure you have proper database credentials available with you to proceed. Under database connection in database address, we need to define the host name and port name. Host name is usually your computer. Specify the computer name. We're using computer name, dash PC. Use default port number. Since we're using Oracle 10G database, make sure you have the port number available for the database you're using. Also, mention the database service name. We're using XE in this case. Once you entered all details, click on Test Connection to check if Informatica is able to communicate with the database. If the details entered are correct, it will confirm the database connection is successful. Click on Next to move to the next screen. On the next screen, it'll ask you to enter the keyword. This is like a password, which will be saved in the directory mentioned in the option below. Once you define a keyword, click Next. In the next screen, provide the domain password of your choice. This will be used to log into the administration console. Click on Next. Next screen, uncheck the option Run Informatica under a different user account. Click on Next to complete the installation. This screen confirms the installation process. Click on Done in order to complete the installation. Great! Now we've successfully installed the server on our machine. We learned to install the server on our machine in this video.